Hey, Wonder Hussy here, coming to you live from the Colorado River, where I'm paddling downstream with my friend, Captain Scott Del Judas, and he's got this amazing little boat. It's called a Kawasaki Jetmate. It's just a little, uh, well, what's what Scott tell you about it? How you doing, Sarah? I'm doing great, Scott. So tell us about this boat that you're driving. Well, this is called the Kawasaki Jetmate. They only made, uh, well, they only shipped 1,200 into the United States. Where was it made? They were made in, in Japan. Japan? Uh, it was, uh, <clears throat> this is a 1991 model. 91? Um, it's uh, approximately nine feet long, approximately four feet wide. It's nine powered by a Kawasaki 650 twin two-stroke that has about 52 horsepower. It's a single axle flow jet pump with 550 pounds of thrust. It has a reverse bucket. It has a joystick control. Start, stop, trigger throttle. It also has a bilge and a blower on it. A blower? A blower. It sucks the, if there are any gas spilled inside, it sucks the fumes out so that oh. it doesn't explode when you start it. Oh, okay. That's cool. one of the major causes of fires on most boats is that they, the captain doesn't put the uh, blower on before he starts it and he has a fuel leak. Dude, it's so important to have a blower on board. Well, on a boat, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, I, I love this thing. They were $7,000 new and I got this seven years ago for $1,000 with the trailer. So I got a steal. With the trailer? I got a steal. $1,000? Yeah, I got for a both. steal. How much have you put into it since then? Uh, I've put a lot in. <laughs> I've lost the motor three times, but not due to my fault, just due to a design flaw in the crank. Where's the motor in here? Yeah. Can, Can we see it? it? Yeah, we'd love to. Show us what it's all about. Oh, wow, look at that. Is that the spark plugs? These are the spark plugs. This is the cylinder head, the exhaust, the carburetor, the bilge pump. Oh, that's the bilge pump? Yep, down in there. And this is a, a, a water exhaust. It's cooled by uh, water. So I understand you just had to have some work done on it. What would they do? Um, Harry Clem at, Great, uh, at Group K down in uh, Fort Mojave, Arizona had to pull the motor out, disassemble it, and rebuild the crankshaft because it broke in half. Oh no, is that something that happens a lot with these things? Well, yeah, the, the weakest <laughs> link in the boat is the, this, is the crank. And uh, when they go, they usually rebuild them with a journal pin uh, I don't know, but it, it makes it beefier and they tend not to break after that. But Isn't this already a pretty beefy, I mean, you have a sleeper version, right? Yeah, this is a sleeper. I got a, a stage one sleeper kit from Group K and it's, uh, <laughs> they've done some porting work and they've uh, done some carburetor work and they actually uh, put a different prop in it, mm -hmm. an impeller actually. And so it's probably instead of 52 horsepower, I'm going to say it's probably 55 or 56. Really? Any chance of us getting a, a glimpse at what it can do? Um, sure. Hold on. Hold on. Great, wow, how fast do you think you were going? 30. 30? What's the top speed you can get this baby up to? Uh, MT 32, 34. 34? Really? Wow. Awesome. <laughs>